Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Peace Golem Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for February 2021. Wanted to do an update to one of Jack Atlas's more, you know, interesting side uh, archetypes that he used in the Yu-Gi-Oh 5D series, being the Peace Golem series, a deck that's comprised of three different size golems, a big piece, medium piece, and small piece golem, all to use in different ways for surge power and also with their fusion boss monster. I'm very, very happy with the results of the deck. I, it's one I've, you know, tinkered with throughout the uh, past couple months since my last uh, update for this deck, and I'm happier with the fusion results and some of the other fusion options I have for the extra deck that you can make with the deck as a whole. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the Peace Golem monsters, I wanted to max out those numbers just because they are the main focus of the deck, so you can see them more consistently. So I'm running three Big Peace Golem. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. So it's not a special summon like Cyber Dragon, sadly, but still, being able to get this level 5, 2100 attack point monster out onto the field can make for a pretty good uh, boss monster attack against your opponent, but it's mostly in the deck to be used for our main go-to fusion, which is multi multiple piece golem which needs a big piece golem and a medium piece golem to make so having three of this at least has it so we'll see multiples of this card more often during the uh, duel so with this we're also running three of the next size golem which is medium piece golem when this card is summoned if you control a big piece golem you can special summon one small piece golem from your deck and that monster's effect is negated while face up on the field so with it it would be more of a you know constant loop of summoning if the effect of small piece golem wasn't negated because then you could just summon out another monster and have a full field of five monsters definitely making this lineup a lot better for sure but with it you have the option set up so once you have big piece golem on the field getting all three of the golems means you have at least fodder to use four different fusion plays or the two on your field for your main fusion and saving the small piece golem for another extra deck summon later on with the last of the golem lineup being the small piece golem a very, very interesting card for the fact that this card never was used for a fusion it was just the first two monsters to summon out for the multiple piece golem but with it when this card is summoned if you control a big piece golem you can special summon one medium piece golem from your deck that monster's effect is negated while on the field and the fact that it is a summoned effect again means that if it is special summoned from the graveyard even you'll have more special summon options so i have a few ways to special summon from the graveyard as well using this card just for some more consistent plays out onto the field with all of your different golem monsters for some of the other fusion support that i run in the deck i also run three the earth hex sealed fusion it can substitute for any one of the fusion material monsters for a fusion summon so with the specifically named multiple piece golem you if you have one or the other and you have this card in your hand you can at least summon out your multiple piece golem and not have any worry about you know not needing the other monster because you have the earth hex sealed fusion meeting that requirement so we run three of it for the deck just great for the earth fusion options we have in the deck altogether with more of our search power coming in with king of the swamp which i'm running through as well polymerization is our main fusion card that we use in the deck so being able to have a searchable way to get access to it it's our only non-earth uh monster that we focus on for a lot of our plays in the deck aside from one other one in the main deck but still searchable and having the substitution uh, effect for our fusions makes it that much better if we don't have the earth hex sealed fusion in our hand or even if we have polymerization we can still use it for one or two of the other monsters for more control against our opponent during the game also because earth monsters are the main thing we'll be summoning out with this deck i run three barrier statue of drought no monsters can be special summoned except for earth monsters so with it and that's not really a limit for us it can definitely lock down our opponent depending on the play they go for because all of our golems including the earth hex sealed fusion are all earth monsters along with this card on the field and a good majority of our extra deck being comprised of earth monsters also i like to run three of it just for that option if i set this card up i can then even go for the fusion play for my hand if I have big piece and multiple piece golem to summon this out while keeping it so my opponent can't special summon anything aside from earth monsters as well. 
And to finish off the monsters, I was debating over, uh, you know, Neospatian Grandmole as another rock monster option for the deck, but I decided to go with Elemental Hero Prisma. Once per turn, you can reveal one fusion monster from your extra deck, then send one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that card from your deck to the graveyard, and this card's name becomes that sent monster until the end phase. So with it, your main play is going to be for the multiple piece golem, sending either big piece golem or medium piece golem, but not only can that set them up in the graveyard to then summon out onto the field, but it'll copy the name of Prisma, making it so then you can use any of the other ones you have in your hand for the fusion play. And Prisma is also searchable with reinforcements of the army being a warrior monster. So just more search out of the deck using some of our other spell cards. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. It's the main go-to play for our fusions in the deck. So I'm running three, a polymerization. With this card, you just have options for all your different fusion plays you'll want to get out in the deck. And having some other search options like King of the Swamp or even some of the one of spell text that I'll get to in just a bit. To recycle this card definitely does come in handy for sure. I also run two defusion just for the multiple attacks against your opponent. If you attack with your multiple piece golem and then you can use defusion fusion to summon back out your big piece golem and your medium piece golem there's not much we use for banishing in this deck as well so it's just a good thing to rely on for that play and then for more of the field spell option, I run two Catapult Zone and one Fusion Recycling Plant. The Recycling Plant definitely does come in handy just for setting up Polymerization. The Catapult Zone for protecting our uh, monster on the field by sending a Rock-type monster from our deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, it's just a monster you control. So even if you have a non-Rock-type monster in your extra deck, let's say that you want to protect, you still have plenty of Rock monsters to send from your deck to the graveyard to protect that monster, making Catapult Zone a great setup for sure. But I'm only running two of it, though. You just need it set up on the field for that play you don't really need to see other multiples of this card in your hand other you know more potential better cards that you can open up with for a lot of the different monsters you're running can be cards like your transmodify which i run three of as well they all are rock earth monsters so you have a good variety of different monsters including the golem lineup that can just go into each other with a higher level boost with each one so that's why i like to run three transmodify so we always have the option available to have these cards rely on summoning out more and more resources. And then moving on to the one ofs for the spells, I run one pot avarice. You definitely will go through your monsters a lot with the transmodify play or even just all the special summoning for your golems. So being able to recycle them for a little bit of draw power is a big plus for sure. The one terraforming, depending on what the field spells you may need for the play, whether it be your uh, fusion recycling plant or even your catapult uh, zone you can have either one searched out preferably with your terraforming the reinforcements in the armies for the elemental hero prisma just so you can get into your hand faster and thin out the deck more one monster reborn for special summoning back onto the field uh, medium piece and small piece just have to be summoned so even if they're on the field through a special summon you'll still gain the additional special summon of that card afterwards i also run one fusion recovery you're going to fuse resources a lot just being able to add some of them back to your hand for you to reuse with cards like small piece golem on the field can be a good plus for sure and we only have the three polymerization as the fusion option in the deck so having this to add those resources back to our hand to go into more than just three fusions in one game also is a plus plus. and lastly the one call by the grave just stopping your opponent's uh, hand traps especially because a lot of these searches are required just to at least make the deck work so you want to make sure you have that one option to at least stop your opponent if it's available in your hand and then that is it for the spells. For the only trap in the deck, I run three back to the front. The same logic with Monster Reborn with back to the front. If you have your big piece golem set up on the field and one of the other ones in the graveyard, just being able to summon out with back to the front onto the field will then give you access to the third one and vice versa, depending on which one you summon out onto the field using your trap card. And I run this one over Call the Haunted because I do use it more as a defensive play than I do for an offensive play against my opponent. But it can be, you know, situational if you want to try Call the Haunted, by all means, take this out and give that one a try. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. If you want to run more than one multiple piece golem, uh, I don't think it's too, too pricey of a card, but I only have the one at the moment. At the end of the battle phase that this card attacked or uh, was attacked, you can return it to the extra deck. And if all the fusion material monsters that were used for it are in the fusion summon or in your graveyard, you can special summon them. So it's basically a go-to defusion. I still run the defusion in the deck just for the fact that I would like to use it more when it's attacking and not just at the end of the battle phase. So you have more options for more 
more tax. It's still a good option if you only have the one then because then you can just refusion into it again after you get other resources out on the field, but it's player preference. If you didn't want to go for the defusion play because you just prefer to rely on the multiple piece golem, you can try putting in super polymerization more as a fusion during the battle phase play as well, but I still like the polymerization because you are going to want to use a lot of your resources from your hand to summon out onto the field. I also run the one elemental hero Gaia, you just need an elemental hero monster and an earth monster, so with your prismas, even if you don't use them to copy the names, you have all the other earth attribute monsters in the deck to fusion out at least one other extra deck option using prisma by, you know, the original to means for an elemental hero monster. And I also have three of one of my more uh, interesting texts for the deck, and that is Invoked Magalenica. You normally do need Aliester, the Invoker, and one Earth Monster to make it, but with your Hexseal Fusion or your King of the Swamp substituting for the specifically named Aliester, you can use one of those cards and any of your Earth Monsters in the deck to summon out this 3,000 attack, 3,300 defense monster onto the field and be more of your powerhouse on the field to rely on. If you don't want to run three, you can always drop down the numbers of your Magalenica for more pieces of multiple piece golem in the extract but this is one i definitely do like going into just as a surprise option your opponent definitely doesn't see it coming then they'll expect more invokes in your deck and i even thought of considering running maybe book of the law in the uh, main deck to have more different attribute monsters to go into if that were the case you could try taking out the fusion recovery or even one more of the catapult zone for the book of the law spot in the main deck and then for the rest of the extra deck, I run one Gorgonic Guardian and one Gallant Granite, needing just two level four monsters. You can even use Prisma for Gallant Granite and then be able to search out a rock monster from your deck to your hand that you need. Gorgonic Guardian being more to put the small golems to use along with the Earth Hex Seal Fusion, both being rock type monsters. I also run one Abyss Dweller and one Tornado Dragon to finish off the Xyz monsters. And for the Link monsters, I run one Asa the Earth Charmer, one Mrs. Radiant, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Cerberus, one Nightmare Unicorn, and the one Borload Dragon. And as for the go-to plays, as I spoke of before, if you just set up your medium piece golem with a normal summon on the field, you then have the option to summon out with your, let's say you have your small piece golem in the graveyard. Then if you use Monster Reborn or back to the front to summon it onto the field, that can be a defensive play against your opponent to at least set up one more monster on the field so your opponent cannot attack into your life points. But also um, one I enjoy is the setup with your medium piece golem and then the use of transmodify when you activate transmodify to go into your big piece golem from there that easily sets up the medium piece golem in your graveyard to use which then you can do the same play that i spoke of before using your monster reborn when you activate this to summon out the medium piece golem back onto the field and then when it is summoned since you control the big piece golem summoning out the small piece golem from your main deck to the field and then you can go from either the extra deck play for the fusion summon you may want or even just for one of your additional summons from the extra deck using link monsters or if you have one of the varying levels to match up with either of these two monsters and exceed summon but that is it for the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed the video it's definitely a fun deck and one that i would definitely like to see maybe some support in the future for but until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out